Hi everyone, um, just a, a short video on ballasting. Um, as you can see, um, these are all nicely glued in and tested, that's all working uh, quite well. Uh, I've put in some cable trunking and I'm ready to ballast. So, what I've done is uh, just simply tipped out the ballast all the way along. Down, uh, down the loop line in the uh, at the back of the layout, all the way around, and try to neaten that up as much as possible. Um, and the ballast I'm using is uh, a medium uh, grey ballast. And that's a woodland scenic uh, ballast. So I've uh, tried to neaten that up as much as possible and uh, I've taken a, a small brush and just gone down uh, between the lines uh, to, uh, to tidy that up and you need to spend an awful long time around the points and just make sure they're, they're clear uh, of, of uh, ballast and they can still throw each way um, and I shan't be uh, gluing that down very heavily around the points. So it's the same the other side as well. Um, again, I spent probably the best part of half an hour just on this point, making sure it still throws both ways and cleaning out all the the point blades and everything, just to make sure it's all good. Now. As we're tidying it up, um, I try to put the chamfer uh, down the edge of the ballast, both sides. I'm not too fussed about making it massively neat at the moment, uh, because after it's glued, there's going to be some more work done uh, to tidy it up even more. But uh, things I'm going to be using right now is a spray gun uh, full of water. Uh, a uh, kind of a pipette, a little mixing bowl, some washing up liquid, a year or a little little drop of that, and some uh, PVA uh, wood glue. So the first thing to do is to spray down everywhere and get the whole thing wet. So electricity off at this point. And I'm going to spray the entire section. I've got this uh, piece of wood here, so I can stand that up so I don't get any overspray of water. And we'll wet down the whole lot. And that makes the PVA and water mix that we're going to be using uh, soak through uh, a lot better and uh, make sure everything is, uh, is glued down nicely. Uh, don't worry too much about the coloured cable there because one of the things we're going to be doing later is tidying that up with a, a little bit of grey paint uh, but there's no point doing it now because it'll wash off and I'm not too fussed about how the ballast looks down here because first of all it's at the back of the layout and secondly there's going to be a whole lot of bushes and fencing and all sorts of things down there so that's not going to look too bad when it's done so when I come back uh, we'll have got the whole thing damp and uh, ready to go Right, right, that's the water done. Um, so it looks like it's swimming with uh, water right now, um, and that's a good thing. Uh, you do really need to get it very, very wet. And that's to help the, uh, the PVA and water and uh, washing up liquid mix flow and, uh, and seep down right to the bottom. Um, so it really does look completely damp and uh, sogging wet. Uh, but that's what you're looking for. So, I've mixed up a batch. Uh, here it is. I've got my little pipette. And that really just is uh, maybe 20% of uh, PVA uh, to 80% water. And then just a little spot of, uh, of washing up liquid. And that's just to break down the surface tension. 
Um, so if I take this over here, now you are going to really saturate the whole area, um, and this will take you a very long time, but it's well worth doing uh, because you get a far better result. So I'm just going to go and make my way around the entire layout uh, doing this. And uh, when I come back, we'll have it completely balanced. I'll see you later. Okay, uh, we're done. Um, you will use more ballast than you thought you were going to need. Uh, that's uh, for sure. Be extremely careful uh, around the points. Um, what I've done is I've not used that much liquid around here uh, simply because I don't want to jam these point blades up at all. Um, so if some of that stays loose that's absolutely fine uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but it's done. Um, it does look quite rough uh, right now but you know you will move uh, some uh, ballast around when you use the spray gun and you will uh, move some ballast around when you use the uh, dropper uh, you can't avoid that uh, we're talking such small pieces of uh, ballast here that uh, any liquid is going to move things around uh, just like this bit here so what I'm going to do is try and push that back sort of into place while it's still wet you don't want to be doing that too much though try and neaten that up a bit um, don't worry about the little white flecks of uh, PVA that you can see dotted around all over the place. Uh, they'll dry clear. And that's it. Um, it's your last chance now to do any touching up or any extra bits and pieces you want to do. Uh, for instance, in the, in the centre here I've used some grey scatter and some green scatter just to start adding some background uh, in between the lines. Uh, just going down so we finish up with a big blob uh, down there and that's so I can start then uh, to blend that in because the the board is wet with a mix of PVA and, and water it's ideal uh, medium to, to uh, for that stuff to adhere to uh, so that's why that's gone in right now uh, but that's it that now takes about uh, I'd say between sort of 12 and 24 hours to dry depending on the the weather this overspray that you can see that's gone around here is actually really useful. Um, not all grass is the same colour, so this needed to be uh, worked on anyway. Uh, but that's given us uh, some nice fluctuations there and across the back there as well. So that needs more work doing to it, but it's nice that uh, we started to, to change the colour slightly uh, down there. Uh, that's it. So make sure everything works. Test the track. Test absolutely everything because once it's ballasted in it's a right mess to get removed again uh, you're yeah, not going to enjoy removing that at all uh, but that's it oh I can see a little bit more that needs just a little bit of tidy up over here but, uh, you can essentially spend the next day or two <laughs> tinkering with this uh, to get it to look absolutely perfect. No ballast is absolutely perfect but what I will, will say is you want to run a small truck around uh, just to make sure uh, there's no ballast stuck now to the inside of the rails. Just run that all the way around I should be doing that to every line uh, just to clear those little bits of ballast then probably tomorrow night I shall be back in with uh, this little tool here and that's just for pulling large clumps of ballast out tidying up the inside of the rails once that's done it's uh, our old favourite track rubber that needs to go over everything because what we've effectively done is added a, a, a layer now to the top of the rails of PVA uh, so that needs to be cleaned off there's a lot of work that needs to be done uh, still. I mean, we've just done the basic stuff here uh, and uh, got it wet and ballasted it and then glued it down. Uh, it needs to set now and 
yeah, hope, hopefully you'll agree. Um, it looks miles better than the uh, the foam underlay you can get. So there we are. Um, that's it for now. Um, so hopefully you found that interesting and uh, and you'll be having a go yourself because it does make a massive difference uh, to your layout using uh, you know stone ballast. Uh, lay it all on cork, pin it all down. Test, as I said, test it. You can't once it's ballast. It's a real pain to change that layout or to to find out something doesn't work. So test everything. Uh, but yeah, have a go because it uh, it really does improve how things look. Let's just give you a little look at the signal thing. We can still see our orange pipe going underneath. That's going to get a little bit more of a tidy up so that uh, it's a little bit more prominent. But uh, hopefully it's all looking good. So, more work to do, but uh, I'll come back maybe next weekend and show you the finished article. Bye for now.